Hey guys, so it's been another week in makeup and as per usual we have lots of things to talk about so I'll just jump right into it. Um, the first thing is that Glaminatrix Cosmetics have given a very quick sneak peek on some of their new pigments so it looks like they're um, a glitter combination from the sneak peek that we've gotten. It looks quite pretty. Um, so I'm thinking about that but it'll depend as to you know, what they're coming out with. Um, the next thing we have is uh, Shade Beauty Official have come out with a new collection. Now it's a little bit unclear as to what it is. It looks like it's highlights um, and all in fairly kind of pastel-y shades so they do look like they're all very wearable. Um, the Cosmetic Apex has come out with some more um, eyeshadow palettes. We talked a little bit about them last week where the eyeshadow palette they had come out with was this mix of reds and yellows and kind of neutrals and I was saying it was nothing hugely new to me um, but they have released another two palettes along with that uh, which launched on the 24th of July. These are kind of standard rainbow um, palettes, nothing hugely interesting to me even though there were those pops of greens um, but I can very safely kind of pass on that and move on. Um, Garnier have come out with uh, a new skincare line which is the Water Rose collection and it apparently includes uh, Micellar Cleanser Water, 24 Hour Moisture Cream with Sunscreen which is fantastic, um, 24 Hour Moisture Gel and two new sheet masks Glow Boost and Aqua Boost and they say that they're going to be available around October. Um, I don't really tend to use Micellar Cleansing Water that often. I found that since I started using um, the Face Halo Cleansing Pad I don't really have to do that much with my skin it seems to just capture all of it which is fantastic because it's less money and it's better on the environment so I'll be skipping on that but if it happened a year ago I probably would have been looking towards something like that. Um, Beauty Bakery who are now selling to Cult Beauty in the UK and Ireland so you can actually buy directly from there. Uh, they've come out with a new Sweet Grace uh, baking spray which I'm assuming is a setting spray because I know their whole spiel is about oh we do baking stuff and you know it's all cutesy and whatever um I that is apparently coming next month so in August um I I'm okay for setting sprays I even recently got some a new one from Pixie and I have loads of Urban Decay setting sprays um but you know if you want to try it out it looks interesting uh, Shiseido uh, Cosmetics have uh, collaborated with six designers for their Gallery Compact collection. So the designers are Sretsis, uh, Masami Yanageda, uh, Yumi uh, Kitagashi, or Kitagishi. They've just specifically used these names, so I can't pronounce them. Uh, Sayori Nishikubo, um, and Walnut and Foxy Illustrations. I can pronounce the last two. Uh, so apparently each compact has press powder that claims to contain SPF 15, firmly absorb, uh, claims to firmly absorb uh, sebum, uh, smooths and corrects skin tone um, and the compacts come in three designs. Um, you know, they look quite cute but I don't really need anything like that. Um, but if you're in, in the market, those look really cute and the designs are nice. Um, we talked a little bit about Dew Colour Cosmetics last week where they had this really interesting yellow and green um, palette and they've come out with a new uh, sneak peek of a blue palette. Um, and again, I was kind of saying, oh, you know, if they hadn't been pipped at the post by Blush Tribe with the yellow and green palette, I would have gotten it. And they've also been pipped to the post by um, uh, Colourpop in terms of a blue palette. But I would say that it is still different enough from Colourpop to kind of warrant potentially getting it. So I'm definitely keeping an eye out. It looks really pretty. It's far more um, darker tones than the Colourpop uh, Blue Moon palette, which is kind of more light in tones. These have uh, different shades of blue, so that's quite interesting. You could get a different look out of it. Um, Fenty Beauty have provided some additional sneak peeks. We kind of talked last week where they were providing some sneak peeks regarding a complexion product, and I wasn't clear if it was going to be concealer, if it was going to be foundation, but they've also kind of given a sneak peek um, on face duo so it kind of looks like it might be like a blush duo or a blush and highlighter duo um, but they should be available around about September. I haven't really tried any face products from Fenty but now they're available in boots so I could potentially pick these things up um, 
So definitely interesting. Um, Beauty Artistry has come out with some new chunky glitters. So they're in these yellows, blues, greens and pinks. Um, I personally won't be picking that up. I have quite a few of the uh, glitterly obsessed like pots from Colourpop. So no need for that. Um, Morphe have come out with a new collection as they are prone to do but with uh, James Charles it is a massive um, brush collection it's called the Unleash Your Inner Artist and it is huge it's a full brush collection which includes um, their two own custom brushes that was made between Morphe and James Charles and every one of the eye brush in the collection comes with a duplicate which is quite smart considering you know, it's it's annoying having to to clean these things. So they come with quite a few different things. I'm not going to read them all out because it is it like it's it's a vast expanse of brushes. Um, it it, it the 34 piece uh, set though does come with this uh, a sponge and like a custom brush they've made themselves, and it's 149 dollars. So that would retail at about we'll say 140 ish euro, um, or maybe 130 pounds. Um, that's not for me. I am not a huge fan of Morphe brushes. Um, my main issue with them is that when I clean them, they tend to go a bit frayed. So while they look like they're a bargain, I don't find that they work particularly well. I am a lover of Sigma brushes. I think they are much better. I've washed them multiple times and they stay true to their original form. Um, another reason as to why I won't be getting it is um, I'm not a fan of James Charles. He is quite problematic on a number of levels, but I'm not going to get into that because that's not what I'm interested in. Um, but I wouldn't be interested in getting that. So it's a, it's a, pretty easy pass. Uh, Natasha Denona then have kind of come out with um, some more of those chroma crystal liquid eyeshadows. Um, so it's in uh, the shades Disco and Space so it's like a black and a silver and they claim um, that they are expertly designed and you can get the duo for $25. Um, I don't think I will be getting that uh, simply because the general consensus that I've heard about the uh, chroma crystals that have released previously are not fantastic they're not glowing um and for $25 I would want something really good out of that because you have to remember that you know the, even the mini tropics palette which I still have to get because I, I want it to come to cult beauty that is retailing for I think it's $21 and I get way more use out of that. So there's no point in me getting that. I have talked myself out of that quite well. So yay me. <laughs> Natasha Denona uh, is never not busy. So in addition to her coming out with the liquid eyeshadows, she also came out with this coral palette. Um, and it is going to be released on the 3rd of August for $48. I think that is beautiful. I love the kind of a purpley kind of duo chromey shift in the middle I think that is really pretty and I think that's part of probably what makes it a little bit more interesting if that had just been another coral shade I don't think I'd be as interested now the reason why it's retailing for $48 and the mini tropics was uh, releasing for 21 is that the mini tropics the mini ones are very very small they're about this big and then just like these um five pan palettes are like much bigger they have like much bigger pans so hence the price disparity if you're wondering about that um I'm in two minds as to whether or not I'll get that because I have the sweet talk palette from Colourpop so I'm like oh do I really need any more corals so uh, we'll see the next um, thing is I am sin cosmetics have released a new translucent setting powder or at least they will be um releasing one they've provided um kind of a sneak peek on that so even the artwork on that looks really cute but I have no idea how it would actually function or if it you know how it works for different skin types you know dry com combination etc um I'm quite happy with my current setting powder so I will be skipping on that um the next thing is Moon Pie UK have uh, launched some new palettes which retail for £14.50 each 
And the first thing that I thought of was, well, there's a purple palette, a kind of an orangey, yellowy palette, a blue palette and a green palette. When I saw the purple palette, I immediately thought that it had some very similar shades to the ColourPop um, It's My Pleasure palette. The orangey palette, I think it's called Tequila something, uh, Tequila Paradise. Um, that reminded me an awful lot of the ColourPop Yes Please. Um, then the two shadow, uh, two ones beneath, still I was getting some sort of ColourPop vibes. And they are big palettes. They're £15 palettes. Um, for £14.50, that's really, really good. But what I would say is if you already have those palettes, if you have the green palette, you know, the Just My Look, if you have the Blue Moon, if you have the It's My Pleasure, the Yes Please palette from Colourpop, there wouldn't really be much point in getting it. It would be a bit samey. That, that's my opinion. So I'm I'm skipping on that one. Um, LC Cosmetics, which are a very luxe lux brand. I haven't actually bought anything from them. They're quite pricey. They've come out with some new uh, lip vinyls is what they're calling them. And um, they say that these lip lacquers deliver maximum colour and shine while moisturising lips with energising vitamins. Uh, the rubbery sensory quality, ooh, sounds a bit weird, uh, melts into the lips and mirrors a fresh look. Long lasting super pigmented lip lacquers in six shades for $24. They say that they're paraben free, preservative free, water resistant, latex effect, Ooh, high coverage, smudge proof, uh, and they're going to be available in August. Um, I'm okay for lip products at the moment because I bought quite a few of the Ofra Cosmetics stuff for the Samantha March collaboration, um, and I've kind of added quite a bit to my collection in that sense, so I won't be passing on that. And we're talking a bit more about some additional um, lipstick products because Makeup Forever have come out with um, some new shades uh, in their Artist Nude Creme Liquid Lipstick. Uh, they say that the rich, creamy formula with just one swipe, apparently, uh, gives a satin finish, is long wear in 12 nude shades for everyone uh, for $20 each. Although I'm kind of like, do you mean that there's a shade there for everyone or that all the shades are going to suit everyone? Because I kind of doubt that because I'm looking at certain shades on that and I'm like, oh, that would look awful on me. Like the really pinks, I'm like, oh, I would look ridiculous. And then the really dark ones, I'd probably look a little, a little bit like vampiric. So it's it's not not for me. Um, I'm enjoying this just because of the name. It's called Yas Glitters, um, um, <laughs> which is just fun as a makeup name. They have collaborated with makeup artist uh, Krista Rice Makeup. Um, took me a while there to read that properly, but there you go. Um, it seems to be um, a really interesting kind of colour story. There's kind of some blues, a sort of a pastel-y shade. It, it, I think it said something about how it was inspired by mountains or something like that, which I can totally see. Yes, Blue Mountain Flower. Blue Mountain Flower. There's a shade in there called Blue Mountain Flower. It even the swatches make me think of mountains. The, there is something very um, almost rugged about this. I think it's really interesting. Now it's not for me because I have enough. I actually like need to ch chill out on buying. Uh, but it's 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 interesting and I. I like the name. Um, Jouer Cosmetics have come out with a, a couple of different things. The One of the first things they came out was this Lip Enhancer Shine Balm. They say that it's nourishing and much moisture, moisture, not moisture, moisture rich balm with a wash of colour for smooth, shiny, kissable, baby soft lips. Includes ingredients like Maxi Lip, which I don't know what that is, Shea Butter, I know that, Jojoba Seed Oil, Vitamin E Condition and provides lasting hydration for visibly fuller, luscious, luscious lips uh, for $18. And they come in Amaryllis, which is a warm brown nude, Dahlia, which is a warm berry, uh, Naturel, which is a light pink, Peony, which is a cool light pink nude, Poppy, a warm red, and Rose, a warm chocolatey pink. Those look really interesting, but again, I have enough lip stuff. I even recently ordered some more, so I, you know, got some extra dose of colours and stuff, so, and I actually finally, finally purchased a Linda Halberg lipstick. So, uh, it's not one of the new collection, it's an older one, but 
I, yeah, so I'm fine. I like I need to stop. Um, they also released a mini version of their uh, best-selling duo. Uh, it's the rose gold blush duo. So it's apparently available for eighteen dollars at Jewe Cosmetics. But you can also get it on Beauty Bay because I was looking there the other night and they seem to already have those stocked. Um, again, I'm totally fine on those sort of things. I don't need them. Uh, Stila Cosmetics um are going along with the trend of the foundation and the skin uh, because they have announced that they're coming out with a new foundation which is called Hide and Chic which is a fun name Hide and Chic Fluid Foundation it says that it gives covert coverage featherweight feel nutrient infused and that you shake to activate it um no date yet it says that it's coming soon um I have plenty of foundations but definitely steel is a good brand so I would imagine it would be good quality although I've imagined things to be good quality before and then they weren't so who knows? Next thing is Asgard Queen Cosmetics. I talked about them, I think, with last week where they come out with a new kind of a shimmery pale gold or a cool gold sort of a an eyeshadow. They've come out with a treasury duochrome bundle, uh, which is now available in pressed format. They look really nice. Um, I don't know how much they cost, but I know that generally duochrome formulas tend to be more expensive than mattes um, and more expensive than shimmers just due to the ingredients that they're um, using. Um, so I'm interested but I don't know how much I would wear those specific colours but it does look nice. Beauty Bar Baby, they started off the week with kind of saying hey we've got a new highlighter, it's called Luminiferous, um, it looks really pretty, it's this kind of um, goldy sheen, like an iridescent finish. And then just today before I started filming, they announced um, four additional shades. So they kind of come in this um, uh, lilac-y shift, uh, a pale bluey grey silver shift, uh, a green and like a blue shift. Um, I can't imagine that the ones that are in the picture that are on the bottom, the bottom three. I, I don't know if they're necessarily highlighters or if they're shadows. They do look like they're maybe shadows because they're a little bit smaller and I think they look really, pr I particularly am interested in the green one. Um, so I definitely I'll be looking out for that but I think the only thing that annoys me, and this is me being silly, is that they are not regular um, pan shapes. So I'm like, ah, they're gonna be really tricky to store and I ugh, that just doesn't sit 100% well with me. Um, Am I Heart Beauty ha are, have given a sneak peek of a nourishing lip scrub, which is apparently coming soon. Um, I won't be getting that, I got, um, Ofra's uh, lip exfoliator, so that's fine. I'm I'm okay with that. Uh, Bombshell Cosmetica gave a full reveal of their uh, Mystic Unicorn palette, and I think it looks really pretty. Um, again, it's just the packaging shape does kind of uh, not settle that well with me. I I I just don't like irregular shapes. But they have a mix of some duochromes, some mattes and some shimmers and I think it looks really really pretty. I still think it's more a peacock palette than a unicorn palette, but that's my opinion. In addition to that, they also provided a sneak peek of some green swatches. If they make that into an eyeshadow palette, I am 5000% getting it. Hell, I will buy the singles. I think that looks I really like that. I really, really like that. So they haven't provided any additional detail on that, but I'm I'm already there for it. Like I'm already excited about it. Um 90s baby cosmetics, uh, which are quite fun and silly, and it's, even the packaging on, on their stuff is really cute. Like their 90s baby um eyeshadow palette had like pictures of Furbies and you know, all these like kitschy 90s stuff. They have uh, come out with a new summer of 2001 palette uh, which is available now for $29.99. I think that's really cute. Um, I'm not going to get it because I can see a lot of the shades that are in there I already have. Um, like even up towards the top, the reds, the pinks, etc. I have it, almost I'd say exact dupes of that from the Makeup Geek Power Pigments palette so I don't need that but I think it's really cute and you know if you are a huge fan of the early noughties um, and just like a little bit of nostalgia I think that's 
that's a nice way to go. And I, I've heard the quality is very good as well. Um, we kind of talked about this, I think it was two weeks ago, where Lick and Lash had kind of given a sneak preview as to what they think their palette would look like. They have now given a full sneak and it was available yesterday, which was Friday the 26th. Um, it's not for me. Um, it's too big. It is a £24 palette. Um, and it's very, it's very pinky. There are some blues, but it's, it's whatever way I'm looking at it or whatever way I'm interpreting it, I'm like, God, there's a lot of pinks. And some of the pinks look very similar to me. So I feel it could have been edited a little bit further. And even some of the blues look very, very similar to me. So I think maybe some additional editing was needed. And then the, the right hand corner, like the bottom right hand corner, uh, black, white, brown and brown. Yeah, not 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 for me. Um, it Cosmetics have uh, released a lash blowout all day lift and sell on volume mascara duo, um, and they say that it was developed with the dry bar. Um, it they say that. Uh, the Lash Volumizing Microsphere Brush gently catches and grips all of your lashes for effortless root tip application while separating your lashes to deliver instant maximum lift and structured volume, delivers saturated black pigment and is formulated with biotin, vitamin E, collagen, uh, jojoba oil and palm oil, uh, $29.96 and there's two different mascaras. Um... Okay, so there's a couple of things on that. If you want to get it, you could probably get it in Boots and you could get it in um, uh, Cult Beauty and I, I think Feel Unique sell it cosmetics as well. Now, there has been obviously a major thing around palm oil and the impact it has on the environment. You know, we've all, I would assume, seen about the how it's impacting the environment of the orangutans. I personally have made more of an effort to try and avoid things with palm oil in it. So if you are of a similar mindset, that is not the mascara for you. Um, so I would imagine it's it's not fully it's not fully environmentally friendly. So that would be my my thing on that. Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills are launching a waterproof ultra black matte finish vegan liquid liner. Um, so it's uh, eight, going to be $18 um, and from I think it's the 15th of August it's going to be uh, available in stores in US retailers on the 6th of August. It's going to be on ABH's own website and if you're in um, Ireland, UK, etc., as myself, um, then you could get that from the 16th of August. Um, I'm okay for liquid liners for the moment. I think it's it, it makes sense for them. That was kind of the next thing they needed to do, but um, not for me. Um, in addition to that, they also came out with two new loose highlighters, uh, Vegas, which is a white gold, and Peach Fizz, which is a golden peach. Um, so they're available at the same times as the liquid eyeliner. I, I think they're really pretty and I have one of their loose highlighters. It's like in a white and I, it, 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 it packs a punch. So I definitely think they would be worth it. And I think they're about 20 something euro or pounds. So if you want to get them in Ireland, you can get them in uh, Brown Thomas. You could also get them on Beauty Bay, Cult Beauty and Feel Unique. Uh, so there's a couple of different places that you can get those. Um, Revlon have released uh, some new lip products, uh, Kiss Cloud Blotted Lip Color. So that reminds me a little bit of the ColourPop um, blotted lip thing. Um, so the uh, it says that our Revlon uh, Kiss Cloud Blotted Lip Color delivers diffused color in a soft suede finish and is formulated with a complex of Milk Thistle Lipolami? don't know what that is, uh, coconut oil and cottonseed oil to nourish and smooth lips. So it comes in a couple of different uh, shades and it's currently uh, available in Revlon um, uh, Australia and New Zealand um, and it can be found um, uh, for 15 Australian dollars. So I would imagine they would probably come to Europe soon enough. Um, not for me, but definitely interesting and you know, you can pick them up in boots. Um, Ofra Cosmetics have launched uh, a brand new Island Time uh, 2 collection. Um, it's it's quite 
quite fun looking. And their Island Time palette uh, retails for $49. The palette contains Bellini blush, which is a neutral peachy pink, Mai Tai blush, which is a soft tropical orange, uh, Punch blush, which is a coral pink, Cosmo blush, which is a future, and Bali highlighter, which is a peachy gold. The, there is a full size blush in Cosmo, which is a sort of a fuchsia color as well for $29. Um, I won't be getting that because I got quite a few things from uh, Ofra of late, but I will say that if this is like any of their stuff before in terms of quality, you're in for a treat. They, they're they very good. Um, they've also come out with Flexi uh, Slick um, for $19 in Top Shelf, which is a mauve mocha slush, slush which is a rosy nude, fuzzy, which is a warm nude brown, swizzle, which is a muted berry pink, and shaken, which is a mauve berry. And they're available now on Ofra Cosmetics. Um, I currently have their liquid lip on, and it is the most comfortable thing in the world. Like, it feels like I have nothing on. I love it. I, I, you know, if I'm going to get any more, I will probably get more Ofra Cosmetics, just, just based on that. Um... So Kiko Milano came out with a new collection which is Sicilian Notes and they've come out with quite a few things. They have a, a full coverage hydro foundation which they say are in eight shades. Eight shades, not good guys, come on now. Uh, for £18.99, they have a highlighter duo for uh, £14.99, uh, some baked blushes for £12.99, baked bronzers uh, for £16.99, a nourishing bronzer. So I don't know how that's different to the baked bronzer for fourteen ninety nine. Apparently, it's two pounds cheaper. Uh, Maxi eyeshadow palette for nineteen ninety nine. Um, so apparently, there's two of them. One is uh, Valley of the Temples, and one is Sicilian Baroque. Uh, they have a long lasting eyeshadow duo for nine pounds ninety nine. Neutral lash mascara for twelve ninety nine. Nourishing lip balms for eight pounds ninety nine. Long lasting lip liners for six pounds ninety nine. Liquid lip color duo for nine pounds ninety. Like they have come out with a lot. Uh, eyes and lip primer for $8.99. Eye marker duo $8.99. Brightening primer $16.99. Uh, energizing cleanser $6.99. Face moisturizer $15.99. Energizing toner $8.99. Color and care nail lacquer in two shades for $4.99. Whew, so that is a lot and uh, all the prices were uh, Great British Pounds. Um, nothing from their speaks to me, so that I'm going to be passing on that personally. Um, Zoeva Cosmetics are kind of showing Kiko Milano how to do it because they are coming out with a foundation and they have said that they're going to come out in 44 shades. So yes, that's a little bit more like it. They haven't given uh, any uh, details yet on exactly when they are releasing it, but they said that the information should be coming soon. So I'll have more information on that once that it comes to light. I kind of said last week that I felt that the next eyeshadow palette that Colourpop would come out with would be an orange palette uh, and that was based on the fact that their sister company Fourth Ray Beauty were coming out with like some mango products and I was like they did that with the watermelon palette and th this is what's happening. Um, so yes they have come out with a whole new um, orange season so it's not just um, uh, an eyeshadow palette. They've come out with the Orange You Glad eyeshadow palette for $12. Uh, they've come out with um, uh, So Juicy Duos, uh, Lippy Sticks, um, Brush Bundles. Um, they've come out with um, Super Shock Shadows and some uh, crushes and uh, like some crush blushes and some Light Sticks Duos. Um, I, it's not for me, uh, the, I was talking to a friend of mine, Maeve, about this, and she pointed out something that I didn't 100% cop to, but this is quite reminiscent of the Sweet Talk palette, um, and I kind of feel that because I have that, I don't need that. I know that some people are kind of like, well, I need to get the orange one because I have all the rest of them and I need the collection. I, you would have been like that a few years ago, but now I'm like, no, if I'm not going to use it, there is literally no point in me having it. And Lord knows I have enough oranges in other eyeshadow palettes that I can dip into. So I'm skipping on that. Um, as Colourpop are Colourpop, they couldn't just come out with one thing. They also came out with a round three collaboration with I Am Becky G. So it includes uh, their Viva Super Shock Pigment Foursome for $20 uh, in the shades Rosa Verona, 
uh, Cielo and Oro. So uh, one is a vibrant magenta with large blue pearl. One is a red orange with a gold sheen. Uh, one is a turquoise with multi-dimensional pink and gold pearl. And one is a true gold with bright gold flecks. They look really pretty. I've seen some of the swatches. Um, they've also come out with a Viva Ultra Glossy Lip Bundle for $18. Uh, but you can get the full collection for $35. And that was available on July the 26th. So that was Friday. Um, I don't think I'll be getting that because I I have enough super shock shadows as it is um but yeah I think the 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 color story is very fun very summer you know makes a lot of sense I think it looks really pretty um the next thing is sugary cosmetics and when I saw this I thought of Tarte not because of the color story lord knows Tarte isn't going to come out with anything this colorful but because of the pan shapes because when Tarte did their I think it was under the sea they had very similar kind of pan shapes that looked like a fish scale um but this kind of makes sense because this is almost like the little indentations of a, a pineapple because it's their pineapple palette um I won't be getting that um I think it looks I think it does look very very pretty uh but there isn't enough kind of color variation in there for me it's it's uh, you know it's, it's a no for me but it it looks pretty and it is available now and in conjunction with that they also came out with a pineapple uh highlight uh palette for $18 and that looks really pretty i think some of the tones there might be too um deep for me which I don't mind that's fine whatever like it's about time maybe d uh, darker skin tones get represented so I, I don't mind missing out, uh, out on that but um not for me I, I'll be skipping on that um shop angelic beauty have come out with new angel brillo gloss collection so I don't really know what that necessarily is now they say they're vegan and cruelty free so if that's important to you keep that in mind I'm assuming that it's just like a lip gloss type thing I don't really no um not for me and the packaging is a bit oh I don't want to be mean but it's a bit kiddish you know you look at that and it's sort of like what you give to a five-year-old to kind of keep them happy that they went into the two-year-old shop and you went here this is a lip gloss and they'll be like yay fantastic uh not for me um Lunar Beauty were kind of sneaking some peeks uh for a new collection that they had they kind of at the beginning of the week were just showing the outside of the eyeshadow palette which is their Strawberry D Dreams eyeshadow palette which retails for $48 uh they've now given a full look at that it's a 15 shade color palette inspired apparently by the strawberry skies uh and it claims that it can take you from soft to sultry with a colorful combination of mattes and shimmers and has a delicious subtle strawberry scent so keep that in mind you know if you've any allergies to things like strawberries etc that may not work for you like you could end up with some eye irritation because sometimes when cosmetics are scented like that it can have a like an irritating effect um there's nothing the color story in that isn't very interesting to me so I'm, I'm skipping on that but they have also released uh some dreamy lip gloss for uh 17 dollars which is peach with hints of pink and blue reflect not not for me um they have some daydream liquid lipstick for 18 dollars medium nude tone pink again i have enough of that uh dreamsicle liquid lipstick 18 dollars in hot cor coral um you can get the full bundle of the the whole thing together for 80 dollars or you can get the lip bundle for 42 dollars um not for me none of it kind of speaks to me so i'm passing on that uh, and now to Kat Von D, who I am not a fan of for many reasons, but we won't get into that. Uh, but she makes it easy not to buy from her. Uh, she's come out with a studded Kiss Cream or Creme Lipstick Capsule Collection. There are six new shades for $20 each. Marigold, which is a golden yellow. Pumpkin, which is a deep orange. Eggplant, a rich purple. Deep Teal, uh, which is... Uh, moody apparently is just all I got on that russet a red brown and greyish which is a grey mauve um yeah uh none of these are wearable in for me I know some people are really brave and bold with their lipstick it wouldn't be for me I'm passing no thank you sugar pill have unveiled their summer collection they were kind of releasing it in drips and drops the first thing that they released was their uh, pressed eyeshadows so it's like a green a blue a pink and a purple in the shades arsenic hypnotic valoria and tokyo and then they released information on their glittering loose eyeshadows uh, which are like these blues and and silvers and like 
like a kind of a bronzy color and they're in the shades brick toast silver lake polar and memento and then just a day or two ago they released information on their glass candy uh, glass candy gloss that was really hard to say for some reason, uh, in Bloom and Flickr. They launched yesterday, Friday the 26th of July. Um, it was really interesting because when they were showing these, they were also showing uh, swatches um, compared to older discontinued eyeshadows that they had. And I was like, I'm more interested in the older discontinued ones because the shades are more interesting to me. Um, I haven't included those because I'm like, if, if you're like me and you see something you can't have, you'll just be sad. I'm just assuming everyone's the same as me. Um, so I won't be getting any of that. Um, so then the next thing that we have is M Cosmetics have released some new information on some uh, duochromes and glitters that they have going on. So they released Malvine Stream, which is this beautiful uh, duochrome aqua green with an intense golden sheen. Um, and they say that it's a glitter version of their Venice eyeshadows. Um, now they say this for all of their uh, glitter stuff, um, that they use only cosmetic safe glitters, the formula has a vegan preservative since it's water based uh, since it's a water based product um and that they don't have biodegradable glitters but they are looking for them so that's something to remember um they also released treasure map which is a purple plum burgundy based color uh um uh, and it has apparently an intense fire sheen uh, in orange gold shade. That does look really, really pretty. Um, they also have After Party, which is a champagne uh, color holographic pressed glitter. Um, they also have uh, two additional ones, which is Enchanted, which is this sort of whitey greeny and then this one called pink gold and then they came out with Fairy Tale Forest, which is this just beautiful tealy, it's like not even a teal, it's like a it's like a pine green. It's it's uh, it's so pretty. Um, so they had started off that week by kind of going, um, you know, in addition to these, we also have some limited edition body glitter. So they gave some um, swatches of that, and they look really really interesting. Um, I particularly like the one the ones that has this blue purple shift and the yellow orangey red shift. I think that they look really really pretty. Um, so. They are apparently new limited edition body glitters. And I, I would imagine that part of why they're limited edition is they are making very big strides to try and get the biodegradable stuff. Um, so Sydney Grace, uh, they had a big week this week. They were doing their Christmas in July sale and I did buy quite a few things and they had some great deals going on. And in the midst of their Christmas in July sale, they also launched uh, their new lip creams. Um, they said that they're a super uh, moisturizing cross between a gloss and a cream lipstick. Um, I didn't really get any of these because the shades that were there were stuff I already had so there was no no point in me getting that um, but I do think that Sydney Grace um, just have fantastic products um, and that if you are you know interested in that they have quite some quite a few things now they have the duochromes they have setting powders they have lip creams they have blushes they have highlights so that they have a lot um moon fat uh has a new product which is called moon milk it's uh, apparently an ultra gentle cleanser that can double as a moisturizer you can rinse it off as a cleanser or pat it in as a moisturizer it has hemp seed oil along with rose water coconut milk and hyaluronic acid which makes for the gentlest of cleansers and works for the full spectrum of skin types um again because i have the um, face halo I don't really tend to use cleansers that much anymore it just takes everything off and I'm quite happy with my skincare routine as it is so I'll be passing um, Beautylish have uh, collabed with Chikyu Hodo um, to come out with some brushes so they have their Sakurai Makai travel set for $155 and in that you get three brushes so that is pricey they have their powder brush which uh disperses uh, powder for an even natural looking finish and it says grey squirrel slash sokoho goat hair I do oh that does not make me feel how did they get that like how mm, that doesn't sit well with me like is, I, is that ethically sourced uh, anyways that's all launching on the 30th of July and um, they also have a cheek brush for contouring blushing highlighting again they have grey squirrel and horse hair I love squirrels I hope they didn't hurt the squirrels oh, a shadow brush uh, which again has grey squirrel and 
Fitch hair, which I don't know what that is, but I'm I'm now concerned. Um, I won't be getting that because I don't know what their their stance is on all of that. You can get some really great brushes with some synthetic materials that you don't have to, you know, take animals fur for. Uh, not for me. Um, Paul and Joe came out with an absolute bomb of stuff. Um, it's their Le Van Dange Wine Grape Harvest uh, season. Uh, so they have, it is a limited edition collection and it includes uh, lipstick cases, blushes and eyeshadow singles and it's going to be launching on the 1st of August in Japan but they have no information yet as to when um, international stockists will get it. Now I know that beauty based stocks Paul and Joe so that's something to remember. I think the packaging is so cute. Um, I'm loving the use of cats. I have seen their stuff before and they are very cat intensive. So I have looked at that and then I'm like, no Tracy, you can't buy something just because of packaging. You need to know what it's like. And I have no information on what they actually perform like as a cosmetic, but I, I do think that's that's interesting. They do look nice. Uh, Ilan Masca had kind of been hinting at stuff last week and I didn't bother including it because I was like, well, there's no point in providing sneak peeks if I don't know what's happening. Um, and honestly, like what they've released is not wildly, you know, earth shattering. They have an eyeshadow palette which has, I, look, it is basically like a matte version of the Urban Decay uh, Beached collection. There's a blue in there and there's some corals and uh, we're done for the day. Uh, that is available for £38, um, not for me. They also have a gel sculpt, uh, so that is uh, released in three uh, bold new shades. Uh, this water-based contour stick creates a delicate shadow under cheekbones and along the jawline. I'm okay for that. I don't really need it. And they have anti-matter lipstick uh, in a couple of different shades for £20. Again, I have enough lipsticks, so I'll be passing on that. Um, Carrie Bible, who is quite well known uh, as, a, as an influencer, and she's collabed with the likes of BH Cosmetics before, she has actually collabed with Il Maquillage, um, and they are producing three ultra matte lipsticks, uh, three lip liners, and three high shine lip glosses. And they can be, they will be sold separately, but you can also get them as bundles. They're going to be launching on the eighth of August. Um, again, because they're lip stuff, and I have enough lip stuff, I will be passing on that. Um, Moon Cosmetics um, have released info on a new highlighter. It's called Golden Sage. It looks very greeny gold in the pan so I don't know how it would look on the skin I'm it's not that I'm subtle in my highlights but I like more conservative tones I suppose I don't really tend to go for like oh I'm gonna have a green highlighter or I'm gonna have a purple highlighter I like them to be like pinkies corals whitey gold you know stuff that I'm like that almost looks like it could possibly be a thing with a skin but like a green shift you're like oh damn no that's pretty obvious you know, that it's not natural. Um, Maybelline have launched uh, their Master Chrome Jelly Highlighters. Um, I love that in their Instagram post, they said, we don't think you're ready for this jelly. And I was instantly transported back to Destiny's Child, which I'm like, why are they still not a thing? That makes me so sad. Um, so they said, meet our new Master Chrome Jelly Highlighter. It applies like a liquid jelly and dries to a soft satin sh shine for a blinding glow that stays put. Dab it on your cheekbones or add a few layers for an out of this world glow. And it comes in metallic rose and metallic bronze. And they're available now for $7.94 in the States. So I would imagine they will come to Ireland and the UK pretty soon. Um, so if you're looking for a cheap highlighter, I mean that that looks interesting. I don't. I can't say anything about the quality. I don't know what they're like. I don't have any Maybelline stuff. Um, so yeah, um, Makeup Revolution have come out with a ton of things. Uh, they've come out with some uh, affordable skincare um, with uh, in a collaboration with Jake Jamie, who is um, an Instagrammer and I think a YouTuber. Uh, so they're already available. They have a dragon fruit face mask for $11, an avocado face mask for $11, and a revitalizing essence spray for $11. Um, not not for me, I'm I'm okay with my skincare. Um, so once they came out with this skincare as well, they came out with um, some concealers, and they have 50 shades. I was looking at, yeah, they have 50 shades, but most of the shades are in the light family and there's very few dark dark 
um, concealers. So there's, it doesn't seem to be kind of catering to all the undertones that are there. Now, I know that's a big ask for like a cheaper brand, but like, guys, please try. Um, they have this, uh, oh, sorry, it's a foundation, not a concealer. Ugh foundation in 50 shades that's what I meant I think it's just they had swatches of it and it looked like it was concealer swatches so that's me they say that it's a lightweight yet buildable coverage designed to suit every skin type and tone uh it says it's oil free yet creamy formula dries down to a long lasting demi matte finish won't settle into fine lines I believe that when I see it or cling to dry patches uh features a jumbo doe foot applicator for greater control and it's going to be available on the 9th of August in the States for $12. So I would imagine because it's it it's a, a brand that's available in the UK and the likes of Super Drug, you could probably get it for about £10 or something like that. Um, I mean, I think you'll do okay if you have a lighter skin shade, um, but it might be harder if you have a darker skin shade because it doesn't seem to be very um, accommodating is my general thoughts around that so they kind of went well that's not enough we're also expanding our lip range with 12 more shades but in four different formulas so the shades are in cupcake violet excess cutie rouge vixen decadence destiny cherry ruby vampire and plum but they all come in different finishes so they come in a matte lipstick uh finish uh which is available for four pounds 99 or sorry for four pounds for four euro 99 or for five us dollars um they have also come out with a sheer lip color so that's available for three pounds three euro 99 or four us dollars um they have a liquid matte which is five pounds five euro 99 or six us dollars um the creme lip is also there for four pounds uh four euro 99 or five us dollars again I'm okay for lip stuff, so I won't be getting any of that. Um, Bitter Lace Beauty have provided a sneak peek of their Lucid Dreams collection. So this looks to be a highlighter, and then I don't know what is in the skull thing, but it looks really interesting. The packaging is really, um, really, really interesting. If the highlighter looks how it looks in the pan, I would be interested. I think that looks really, really nice. Not nice, not nice. Maybe it's just because it's quite a dark theme that I'm thinking of night. Um, yeah, I'm going to be keeping an eye out on that to see what that's like. I think it's really, really interesting. Um, we talked, was it last week or the week before, that P. Louise was collaborating with um, Mitchell, who is on Instagram and I think is on YouTube as well. Um, so we knew already that they were doing the eye paints um, and that that apparently has, you know, a new formula. It's self-setting, all of these things, tear-proof, non-moving, crease-cutting, etc. Um, but in addition to that, they're also coming out with um, some eyeshadow palettes. Um, and it looks to be that they're coming out with two, based upon the, the promo pictures. And I have to say, um, I'm interested. I think the... I was interested in the eye paints anyways, because, I mean, that looks interesting but I'm interested in the eyeshadow palette as well. That's going to be available on the 1st of August. So that's that's not that far away. So I am interested in that. Um, Baby Bat Beauty have come out with a new liquid lipstick called Plague Doctor. I think that's quite an interesting name. Um, I I mean, I would that shade would look awful on me, like awful, like it's a grey sort of a colour. You ha You have to be a particular type of person who can pull that off and not be frightened to wear I'm too frightened like I'm not frightened to wear like ridiculous colors in my eyes but I am nervous of uh, lip shades um and continuing on with that sort of theme of you know darkness and general like gothicness um Sparrow Cosmetics have released a new collection called Fang Banger and that straight away made me think of um True Blood and I'm assuming it's an homage to that because one of their lipstick shades is called Telepath and the main character in True Blood, spoiler alert, which by the way, if you have not read the books or haven't um, seen the TV show by now, this doesn't even constitute as a spoiler alert, but the main character is essentially a telepath, but there's a reason behind that and I'm not going to get into it. Um, but they're apparently also releasing uh, two new styles of lashes, lipsticks and highlighters. Um... I don't think I'll be getting that, but it, you know, I think it's a, it's an interesting idea. Um, 
Linda Halberg Cosmetics have added some new additions to their fantastic uh, lipstick line. Um, so in a couple of different shades, they're available for 23 US dollars. Um, I I think they're pretty, but they, they they are expensive enough, and you can get that you can get them on Beauty Bay. Um, I literally just ordered one the other day, so I have to even see how that performs before I'd even consider getting any more. Um, Pharmacy Beauty um are going to to release a new vitamin C serum. I'm all for serums. I'm a big fan of these, and I think a vitamin C serum is is you know a great way to go. So th it's. They've called it their very cherry bright, uh, and it says that it has 15% clean vitamin C serum, uh, which is powered by a potent cocktail of vitamin C rich acerello cherry and uh, hyaluronic acid to visibly brighten firm and hydrate skin. Um, they say that it's special because it has brightening vitamin C, tropical acerolo cherry, along with a cocktail of three other forms of vitamin C, which brightens and reduces the appearance of dullness, dark spots and fine lines for radiant youthful looking skin. Has hydrating hyaluronic acid, four forms I didn't even know there were four forms of hyaluronic acid offer long lasting hydration, soothing botanicals and peptides. Um, and it says that there's no irritation or no recovery time required. And they're going to be launching soon on Pharmacy Beauty's, um, I'm assuming, website. Um, that's interesting. But again, I have my own serums, but I will definitely, I want to see reviews on that. And if that is good, I will think about it in the future. Um, e Unique Beauty, which I think were the ones that did the the um, ice cream palette that you had to buy with a bag, which was so weird. Um, they have released a new status quo mini palette called Spring Fling. I really like the colour story in that, but I'm looking at it and I'm like, it reminds me a little bit of Melt Smoked Sessions mixed with Melt Gemini. And I do think I would already have dupes for that, so I won't be getting that, but I think it's really interesting. Um, Juvia's Place has had some controversy of late where they were saying that they weren't collaborating with enough people um, with, excuse me, with darker skin tones, which is a bit hypocritical considering they were meant to be a brand for darker skin tones. I'm not getting involved in that. That's not my thing. I'm not going to say, you know, whether they were right, whether they were wrong, whether the allegations were true or not. That's not my place. But they have released um, a collaboration with Fumi uh, Desiluvoid. I'm really bad at these names. Um, so they first kind of showed a sneak peek of the outside of the palette and last night, uh, so Friday night, they provided a reveal of what it actually looked like. So there's some nice purples, p uh, reds and pinks. I think they're really interesting. Um, it's the Queen palette, which is six, a six pan multi-purpose palette. So I think it's not just for the eyes. You could use that as a highlight. You could use it maybe as a blush as well. So I think that's really smart. And it is 15 US dollars. So I would imagine, it, you know, once it gets to Beauty Bay, you can probably get it for 15 euro or something like that and they're also coming out with two lip glosses in shades Fumi and Royalty which are $10 each. Now the lip glosses are not in shades that would suit me like they would not look good on me but I'm interested in the uh, Queen palette. I do think that that is really really interesting. Um, Milk have really gotten into this whole Kush thing you know the marijuana inspired makeup and um, I haven't included pictures of the before and afters because I'm always dubious about that sort of thing and I don't want to make any claims when I myself have not tried these things. So they say that this is essentially a grow house lash and brow serum that is using like this Kush formula and it's a daily serum that boosts and nourishes hair for healthier fuller looking lashes and brows. Um, it, they say that it has hemp derived cannabis seed extract and Kush grow house peptide blend conditions to strengthen hair and improve the appearance of lash and brow thickness. Um, they say that's 94% natural unlike other lash and brow serums that are engineered with harsh chemicals. Grow house has a 94% natural formula. I always find that funny because I'm like natural does not necessarily mean that it is good for you. Um, you know belladonna is natural but it'll kill you so you know that whole trend towards like natural um, in beauty I, I think it's it's a lot of lip talk. Um, it says that there's no steroids so yeah you, I mean I don't think you could even include anything with steroids without like a some I, I don't know. <laughs> I would assume with steroids you would need like an actual thing from a doctor. 
I, I don't know, maybe I'm just really like naive. That's apparently going to be available on in uh, Sephora, so in the US, on the 6th of August and on Cult Beauty on the 22nd of August, so coming into September. Uh, apparently you apply one to two times a day on lash lines and your brows for optimal results in 12 weeks. So tell you what, I'll wait 12 weeks after the date to see what sort of story there is because I'm not trusting these uh, things. I, you know, they're making big claims you know. Um, Pure Cosmetics are collaborating apparently with Barbie, which, uh, uh, fair enough, and they're releasing quite a few things. They have uh, an Endless Possibilities palette, uh, so it has some pinks, some purples, some uh, blues in there, which kind of makes sense, you know, Malibu Barbie and all that, um, and that's retailing for $34. Again, you can get that on Beauty Bay as long, uh, as far as I remember. Um, not for me. The colours don't really speak to me. Uh, Dream Glow Signature Highlighter Palette, uh, $25. I find getting a highlighter palette can be dodgy because you can only find maybe one shade in there that'll work for you or two shades that works and then one doesn't. So, uh, you know, it's a bit of a waste of money. Um, they have Iconic Lips in four shades for $18, um, but it can also come in a set. I think they're they're quite Barbie. <laughs> uh, not for me. Um, they also have Girl Gloss for $16. Barbie Doll Lash for $14. So that's like a set of fake lashes. Uh, Flawless Forever Brush for $26. Glitterly Pink Signature Brightening Peel Off Mask for $20. Okay, we had that with Too Faced a while ago where they put glitter into their face masks. Glitter is not good as part of a skincare. Like, it has it's plastic it is sharp plastic and it will tear across your skin so no that is not skincare it's apparently going to launch on the 2nd of august on pure cosmetics and uh, 4th of august on ultra beauty over in the states so i would imagine they will be coming to um the uk and ireland towards the end of august um essence cosmetics have released uh plumping nude lip glosses uh for three dollars 99 in uh, seven shades it's described as giving fuller lips in seconds um I don't know. It says it's vegan and paraben free and there's uh, no animal testing. So that's that's good. I like that. Um I I'm not a major fan of lip glosses and when they make claims like that, I'm I'm not 100% certain. But for 3.99 it's it's, you know, if that's something you're interested in, you know, check it out. Um Fabled Fragrances have uh, come out with uh, quite a few new matte eyeshadows. Um they look really really pretty. Again, I'm looking towards that not quite the middle row, but the green row. And I'm like, oh, that looks really nice. But, you know, I don't need it. Um, and I ordered quite a few things with Sydney Grace over their Christmas and July sale. Um, but, you know, if you're looking for colourful mattes, that might be the way to go. I can't say anything about their quality because I've never tried anything from them. This is the last thing. Uh, Impulse Cosmetics uh, have just apparently added uh, some new matte eyeshadows to their sites. And the picture that I have linked... Um, they claim that the swatches are done dry with no primer. Now, again, when you see swatches like that, they will be packing them on, so it won't necessarily give you the exact indication of what it's going to look like on the eye. So I would like to see how it actually performs with a brush, like a more crude, almost, um, swatch test. Um, so I, do, I don't know, but it's interesting. It's, it's a more kind of bright kind of shades than what we saw from fa Fabled Fragrances. That is it. That is everything in the last seven days. Um, I'd love to know what you guys think. If there's anything that you want to pick up or pass or you think is overrated. Uh, enjoy the rest of your week. Bye.